Now to a developing story. While there have been no updates on the violent attack on two bison in Owasso a few weeks ago, the owner's herd numbers have been restored. After a woman with the Quapaw Nation heard about what happened to the animals, she reached out to tribal leaders to see if there was a way to help. 2 News Oklahoma's Steph Manchin spoke with the tribe. Everybody stopped by and offering help what they can. I mean, there's really not much anyone can do, but I mean, they're trying. Two weeks after an act of violence left Bill Retke down three of his bison, the community rallied behind him and gave him a gift that he never could have imagined. A Quapaw Nation chairwoman learned about the attack and turned to her leaders to see if there was anything they could do. Executive Director of Resource Management with the Quapaw Nation, Trenton Stand, says that they have about 180 bison themselves, and the timing worked out as they had just acquired some yearlings for their own herd. As soon as the business committees, you know, said, asked if, you know, we had the availability to do it, um, we were all on board with making, making it happen. He says it's the Quapaw way, helping others when you are able. Stan says that many people on the Quapaw Business Committee, including himself, were sympathetic to the situation, knowing how much time and effort it can take to grow a herd. I'm a small cattle operator myself, and, and I know, <clears throat> granted I don't have buffalo, but I know how losing three head in the in the market and things, what that could do to me. So I'm, I'm grateful to be able to help him out in that way. Redke was able to pick up the young bison and bring them back to his herd on Monday, getting his total back up to 30. He is still blown away by the act of generosity. They don't sell any of theirs because they use it all for their own people. And for them to give up three of them, I mean, that's taken from their whole tribe. Like, So it, it's, it means a lot. While the investigation is still underway, Retke hopes by offering a reward for information, someone will come forward to give the incident some closure. If I can get them turned in tonight for a thousand bucks, I'll do it. <laughs> Steph Manchin, 2 News, Oklahoma. Retke says he will not stop until he has answers about those responsible for killing his animals.